Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. And in this video lecture, we are going to talk about PI3K AKT mTOR signaling pathway, which is also known as the KRAS pathway. So what is PI3K AKT mTOR pathway? We'll discuss about that in this lecture. First, we'll talk about the PI3K AKT mTOR signaling basics and the signaling molecule receptor. And then we'll talk about the PI3K AKT mTOR signaling animation or KRAS signaling pathway animation. Let's begin to talk about the AKT mTOR pathway, which is also known as the protein kinase B pathway. So what is the protein kinase B pathway? Protein kinase B, also known as AKT, is the collective name of set of three serine threonine specific protein kinase that play key role in multiple cellular processes. Signaling molecule for this AKT mTOR pathway are growth factors like epidermal growth factor. The receptor is growth factor receptor of tyrosine kinase type. The role is several cellular functions including nutrient metabolism, cell growth, apoptosis and survival. Cellular activator of this process is RAS protein or rather say K-RAS protein. The chief activator molecule in mammalian target rapamycin. The mammalian target of rapamycin full form, short form is mTOR. A phosphat Phosphoenocetine. This mTOR or mammalian target of rapamycin is a phosphoenocetide 3 kinase related domain kinase molecule. The evolutionary conservedness is highly conserved. This pathway is highly conserved. So without any further delay, now let's talk about the protein kinase B pathway animation or AKT mTOR pathway animation. So there is a nucleus you can see in the bottom and let's talk about the cell membrane and receptor associated with the cell membrane. This receptor is known as receptor tyrosine kinase and the signaling molecule is there which is let's say epidermal growth factor or any kind of growth factor. Now this signaling molecular growth factor binds to the receptor tyrosine kinase and upon binding the receptor tyrosine kinase is going to be activated. The activated receptor tyrosine kinase is going to activate the KRAS. KRAS once associated with GDP is in inactive form. The moment its GDP is substituted with a GTP it became active. Now the shuffling of GDP to GTP is done by GEF or guanosine exchange factor. And further, this active KRAS can be inactivated after hydrolyzing the GTP into GDP done by GAP protein separately. So this cycle continues. But let's look at the active KRAS associated to GTP. This active KRAS associated to GTP is further going to activate PI3K, PI3 kinase, phosphatidyl inositol trisphosphate, PI3 kinase. And this PI3 kinase is going to activate AKT, okay, the AKT kinase, AK strain transforming type of kinase. This AKT is going to activate MTOR, small m, capital T, capital O, capital R, mTOR protein. The mTOR protein is going to go inside the nucleus and this mTOR protein is going to activate specific genes, transcription for proliferation, differentiation, survival of cell. This KRAS molecule is the primary activator in the cytosol and it further activates the transcription factors that leads to the cell's growth, proliferation, differentiation and ultimately leads to the cell's survival. That's all about the KRAS signaling or protein kinase B signaling pathway or PI3K AKT mTOR signaling pathway. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you.